this video I want to show you guys how to find the smallest number in a list and the very first thing we want to do before we do any, any kind of iteration is we're going to assume the very smallest number and that's what SN stands for smallest number is equal to the very first item in our list and in this case it's four so we're going to assume from the get-go that the smallest number in our list is four and then we're going to iterate through each item in our list and check each number to see if it's smaller than our smallest number. If it is, we're going to update our smallest number variable to that number. So let me go through that with you and show you what that looks like. So for the very first iteration, we're going to check, is 4 smaller than 4? Well, no, it's not. Then we go to 5. Is 5 smaller than 4? No. We go to the next item. Is 9 smaller than 4? No. We go to the next item. Is 3 smaller than 4? Well, yes, it is. So what we do from here is we update our smallest number variable to this new smallest number, 3. So we're going to update it and say smallest number is equal to 3. And then we carry on. We go to 10. Is 10 smaller than our smallest number? Well, no, it's not. Is 2? Well, yes, it is. So we're going to update our smallest number to our new smallest number, which is now 2. Then we go to our next item. Is 1 smaller than 2? Well, yes, it is. So we update it again. Smallest number is equal to 1. And then we go to the next item in our list. Is 8 smaller than our smallest number? Well, no, it's not. And now that we've iterated throughout each item in our list, we are done. So all we have to do from here is return our smallest number variable, which is 1, and it's going to give us the smallest number in our list. So that's uh, basically how this smallest number algorithm is going to work. Um, uh, stick around for the next section of this tutorial to learn how to code it out. So for the coding section of this tutorial, we're going to start out by creating a function, and we're just going to call it smallest number and then we're going to pass it um, our list and we'll just call it numbers for now and then from here we want to create our smallest number variable and like we talked about in the uh, algorithmic uh, section of this tutorial we're just going to set the smallest number equal to the very first item in our list so we're just going to create a variable called smallest num and we're going to set it equal to the very first item in our numbers list and we're going to do it just like that and now we're going to want to iterate throughout each item in that list. So we're just going to say for num in numbers. We're just going to check if the current iteration or the current item is smaller than the smallest number. All we're going to do is update the smallest number with that new smallest number. So we're just going to say if num is less than the smallest num. All we're going to say is smallest number is equal to number. And then from here all we have to do is return the smallest number. So we're just going to return smallest number and then to test it out we're going to create a function call of the smallest number and pass it a list. So we're just going to say smallest number and we're going to pass it some uh, list of arbitrary numbers. So we're just going to say Let's not start out with 1. Let's start out with 657, 233, 567, 999, 1, 24, 25, 24, 89, 6, 1, 88, 777, 654. Okay, that should be good. And to, in order to print it out to the screen to see it, we're just going to pass. Uh, this function call to a print function and then we're gonna save this and run it and if we check to see the smallest number it says 1 and if we look up here the smallest number is in fact 1 so that's how you code this out it's uh, a pretty simple program but if you got any value from it I would appreciate it if you liked commented and subscribed and I will see you guys in future tutorials